take this one step further is your website optimized for conversion and we talked about this momentarily and that is that we want to make sure that you've got multiple modalities that your prospect can engage with you and so the first thing that i want you to do here real quick is just write down three implementations that you're going to try and put into your website in the next 30 days so as we've gone through those current optimization steps what are the top three that make sense for you to implement in the next 30 days? And once you've got those written down, we're going to move on to one more big topic, and that's kind of the way we're seeing uh, conversions optimized on the backside now. Once you've captured that lead, what increases your ability to make that sale? There's a couple of little tweaks you can make that will greatly improve those numbers too. So we've been talking about the front end conversion. How do we get more leads, phone calls from a visitor to our website? Now we're gonna talk about the back end conversion. Once we've got that visitor information captured, what's the step that we may wanna to take to increase the uh, profitability and the effectiveness of those leads in the way they're handled? So hopefully you've got your, your three action items. And uh, let's talk about this big issue. The biggest issue facing home remodeling and residential marketing or residential construction companies, excuse me, is unconverted leads. And that means leads that you collect but never turn into customers. And here's the real problem with forms. Uh, what studies tell us is 50 to 60% of inbound traffic to a website leaves unconverted and so there's a, a statistic on your Google Analytics called page bounce. And what page bounce is, that bounce rate is how many people show up to your website and don't go to any other pages and then bounce off. So about 50 to 60% leave unconverted. They don't fill out a form, they don't place a phone call, they move on. Here's the next piece of this though, 90% of web forms fail to convert. So somebody fills out a form for you, it doesn't convert either and here's the real issue why and that's because leads that are not followed up with in the first 15 minutes go cold today everybody is in an instant gratification mode i want to be able to talk to somebody quickly i want to be able to uh, meet with you quickly i want to get a response to my question quickly and so the average customer needs to be followed up with uh five to seven times once they become your lead before they will actually book an appointment with you so what we've got to do is get those five to seven contacts in as quickly as possible and here's what's interesting today's consumer actually prefers to interact via a text message over a phone call or an email SMS is, is actually proving to be the more effective means of following up with leads in today's marketplace. 